Azimia kombo weekend yangu itakuwa mzuri. Did you listen to the hot breakfast this morning? Here's what you missed. Edwin Sifuna is in the house. Good to see you, Mesh. Uh, Sante sana, good to see both of you. We have to talk about uh, something that Baba, uh, your party leader, said. Uh, well, we need clarification on Mitumba. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, mentioned uh, something about uh, wearing dead people's clothes and cause a ruckus of furor, if yeah. you will. Could you clarify that for us? You know, Jeff, uh, this is the most interesting debate we've seen in recent times that, in fact, uh, a very serious presidential contender can put forward uh, a 40-plus, 60-page uh, manifesto. And then the discussion is actually reduced to what is essentially, a, you know, a, a misquotation or a mischaracterization of uh, what uh, Mze was actually talking about. Uh, it is a fact, uh, Jeff, uh, that... Uh, we are in problems in terms of uh, manufacturing in this country mm -hmm. and the point that uh, baba was making was that in fact uh, we need to go back to primary manufacturing if you listen to the stories of the people who grew up in low nyanza in parts of busia there's something they call a place they in Nyanza, there's always a place called Stopamba. I am sure uh, Nico Diambu knows there's a Stopamba near his rural home. <laughs> that in fact, there was a time we used to grow cotton in this country. It used to supply or support so many farmers. And that in fact, uh, it was uh, the backbone of our textile industry. Hapa, uh, if you were born in the 80s like me, hakuna mutu wa kujifunika Raymond. Hiyo Raymond ingekua bado, labda Nico Diambu angesaidika juwa kuna hiyo bevi ya wasichana na zuamzia. Di inge mutu wa baridi uko nefasha. So what Mzee was talking about, was that in fact we need to go back to primary manufacturing and he was very very explicit in saying he's not going to put anyone out of business that in fact you can have a, a, a parallel uh, you know this this uh, traders in 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 the mtumba markets selling both local locally made the uh, apparels and and also the ones that are imported and this is a reality in the kenyan market so kenda toy market leo nick utakuta wanauza mtumba na kurangu mpya hapo yes side by side so yeah. mzee is saying instead of selling that ngumpia that is imported from china why don't we have you uh, and in fact is he used the words we will give you first priority to market uh, what is essentially made in Kenya. We have been conditioned to hate ourselves, by the way. We have just been conditioned to hate ourselves. We, many of us have been born at a time when we, we found this country, uh, you know, not working. Nothing in the country works. So people do not have that imagination that in fact these things can be done. So it is quite unfortunate because we know our competitors, uh, their modus operandi from day one has been to incite the so-called uh, poor masses against the rich. That in fact you can put out a very well thought out manifesto, but then it is reduced to this one debate that is actually based on a lie that Raila hates uh, people who sell in uh, Mitumba. I have sold Mitumba myself. There is a market in uh, Bungoma called Chebukube. I used to sell uh, socks during the off-season when I was in, 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 in school, in uh, uh, law school. When we, the schools closed, we had to sell Mitumba for 5,000, and we had 7,000 in two weeks. We had to sell Mitumba. So, when we talk about these things, it's not as if we, we don't have that experience ourselves. We've gone through these things. We're just saying that it would be good for us to revive the cotton industry in this country, that the value chain, the number of people that it used to support mm. is so high, and that in fact these things can exist uh, parallel to even the Mutumba importation. Jeff, let me tell you this, that there are certain things that you cannot convince people to buy brand new. When I had my, my child, when my daughter was born, I was introduced to something called onesies. I didn't know what they were. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. cannot convince my wife to buy a new onesie. During the times when my daughter was still young, these onesies in Kwasna to a toy market. You know, they are Mtumba onesies. So she wore them until like she was, uh, you know, two, two and a half years old. And uh, they were all Mtumba. Because my wife argues and believes that they are the best quality for, for onesies. But there are other things that uh, she doesn't want to buy uh, second hand. So we are not saying that uh, these clothes are bad, but that in fact we need to go back to an era where we also used to produce clothes and that we need to support that industry to be able to revive it. And that in fact what we expected from our competitors uh, by now, Jeff, if these were serious competitors, we would have a blow by blow. 
uh, you know, critique of uh, the manifesto that we've put forward. Mm. What what is the problem with our plan for manufacturing? What is our problem? Uh, the problem with uh, our plan for expansion of agriculture to move from rain-fed agriculture to uh, reliance on uh, irrigation? What is the problem with our social protection measures? They have not done any of that. They have gone back to what was their initial plan? Incitement of the poor's. So they are in the markets right now saying, oh, Raila hates you. Raila wants to close your business. And the most uh, interesting thing is that William Ruto is on record, public record, actually saying he will ban importation of mitumbas. You know, the videos are there. In fact, they were played yesterday even on social media. Mm. So what we want to encourage people is that we want to have a debate of ideas. We want to have issue-based debates. Uh, I heard also Mishmo Otangula yesterday saying, oh, that everything that is in our manifesto is what they have been talking about. You know, they are laying a basis to copy our document. Jeff, mm -hmm. when have you ever heard regarding the Shagwa say the words social protection? Can even say social That's protection. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> when have you ever heard Alice Wahome <laughs> saying primary manufacturing? Where? Even this bottom up of theirs that they usually talk about. All my, on multiple occasions they've been given opportunity even in this media house to explain what it is. If you ask William Ruto to take us to one example whether during his time as member of parliament, whether it is one of his uh, county governors, where this bottom up has been implemented so that people can actually see what it is about, they will not show you. So for us really, we would like to have a conversation that is based on facts, a conversation on the issues. Tell us, because you see this manifesto is not for Azimio people. When Baba wins, it is the Azimio for the entire nation. So we welcome criticism about the things that they think uh, can be better, about the things they think they can't work, so that we all prosper as a nation. Because this is not an Azimio manifesto. This is a manifesto for the whole country. When they put out theirs, we are looking forward to it. We want to see what this bottom-up thing is, so that we can also uh, have a discussion on, on what proposals have been made in there.